from a funnel. And I think it was my fifth Two Comma Club award. And I also have a uh, uh, what's called a uh, eight figure uh, club award as well. So that's for doing 10 million plus dollars uh, with a single funnel. And so I love going out there. Um, it's fun to be rewarded for success. And I love click funnels and I use them a lot for the digital marketing side of my business and um, actually starting to use them a lot for e-commerce as well, uh, which I'll be teaching y'all here soon in the future is how to kind of marry Shopify and ClickFunnels together and to get the best usage out of both of these amazing platforms. So how many of you in here would like to learn that by the way, um, just how you can marry ClickFunnels and Shopify and run these elaborate but very simple uh, to build funnels that can really spit out a lot of profit. Okay, so that's something that we're gonna be doing in the future. Um, and so I was in line, I don't know if you saw, but um, I was in line with uh, probably 120 other entrepreneurs that had all made over a million dollars in a single funnel. It was crazy, all right? I, I just, I was in this room and I was Instagramming it and I was like, I mean, like I've made a lot of money for a long time. So that's not new to me, but just seeing so many other people in the same room, there was clearly a hundred million dollars. Uh, it's just unbelievable all in one room, right? Just in one year, which is crazy. And another cool thing is um, I ran into two people that went through Ecom Success Academy in that two comma club line. So there were uh, two people that have come on the Profit Power Hour, that have been through ESA. Um, I don't know if they were winning an award for e-commerce or if they were winning it for their own digital businesses. So by no means I'm taking credit for that. Uh, but I saw two people that I know that have been in our community um, in the Two Comma Club line and they received those awards with me as well. And we chatted and they came up to me and told me how much you know the trainings I've put out there uh, have helped them and other people as well and have inspired them which was really cool. Um, I got to sit down with uh, Denny Santoso, whom a lot of you follow in our group and do an interview with him, uh, which was really great. And he got a two comma club award as well um, and went through ESA and recommends it. And uh, so cool to have watched him, watch him like grow in his digital business and his e-commerce business. Um, and that inspired me to put together something, uh, I literally just had this idea while I was in Nashville, Tennessee, to put together a e-commerce digital mastermind. That is uh, a mastermind that is digital, it's online, because it was very expensive to travel to ClickFunnels. I mean, the hotel room, the flights, the food, everything, it was thousands of dollars just to be there, right? And to other masterminds like Traffic and Conversion, which I was just at a couple of days ago in San Diego, you know, we spent probably about $15,000 traveling between New York, Nashville, and, uh, and San Diego to be at these masterminds. So what I did is I got with the biggest brains in the industry and the biggest people having success in the e-commerce sphere and I started recording these like 20 and 30 minute mastermind sessions. I said, let's sit down, let's talk. I wanna hear what you're doing in your business that's completely different from what I teach. What is your spin? What is your angle? Why are you having so much success right now uh, from people that are doing millions of dollars a year? And um, I was able to get a boatload of content from them and I'm putting it together in a digital e-commerce mastermind for people that can afford to cannot afford to travel or they're um, physically uh, not able to travel right um, and and get to these events uh, when they're being put on and I'm gonna make it like really amazing and well structured and I'm gonna release that probably in a couple of weeks or so just at a, a, a Show of hands or a show of ones because we can't see hands How many of you in here would like to have access to a digital e-commerce mastermind where we're talking? It's not me. It's it's not just me teaching, but it's other people doing tens of millions of dollars in sales going over their exact strategies in a private room with me kind of going over it. Okay, cool. And don't worry, that's not going to be expensive. It'll be like, uh, like probably less than $10 a month. 
uh, for me to put that together for y'all. So that's something that I'm gonna do, but it's I don't have it here. Um, we just recorded it all. Anyways, so I'm just so inspired because so many people have had massive success. And I really believe that what I'm gonna show you tonight is gonna be a contributor to helping you succeed, no matter if you're beginning or if you are already advanced. This is a super cool and a super fun strategy that you can leverage. So uh, let's do our normal thing, okay? We wanna remind everybody to hop in this room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly pull up uh, our notepad that we've been using lately on, on Google Docs. And I want everybody to go and to the group. Let me just pull this up real fast. <clears throat> okay, so everybody should be able to see my screen. Just go into the Profit Power Hour group and let's type in Adrian is teaching part three of launching a six figure store and how to hack other people's content. All right, so actually we should say uh, legally and ethically, how to ethically hack, ethically, ethically hack and leverage other people's content to get sales. Can't make up my mind. All right, so go to the group and make sure you post that and please only do it once because some people in the group get kind of annoyed. Um, you know, if you go in there and you uh, you post like 20 times, it's not cool. Um, this is really supposed to serve as a reminder. We got about 80 spots open right now to get on the webinar. So we got about 920 people on the webinar right now. So if you want to uh, go to the group, what we'll do is at the end of the webinar, after I show you how to legally and ethically hack and leverage other people's content to get sales uh, for your e-commerce store, and then we're gonna go into structuring a Facebook campaign, uh, go post that in the group right now. I want you to all make one post each in the group. Remind everybody, let's fill up these additional 80 spots that are on the webinar. And what I'm gonna do is now that we have products, like we found all of these different areas and places that we could go to get products to sell on our Shopify or e-commerce stores, what we wanna do now is figure out how do we get traffic to those? And we all know that there's a traditional way of getting traffic. There's the whole um, you know, Facebook ads strategy, which I, I live by, I breathe, it's my bread, it's my butter. Um, you know, Facebook, I, I went back and I looked at my Facebook marketing account. I was doing Facebook ads in 2008. So I was doing Facebook marketing in 2008. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even know Facebook ads were existing in 08. I thought it was 2010. But in 2008, I was doing Facebook ads. So I've been doing this stuff for a very long time. And Facebook is not going anywhere. I've been doing it for a decade already, okay? But what I wanna do is I wanna show you a fun, cool, free way that really can achieve two different goals for you. Number one is free traffic. And number two is valuable content to your user base, okay? So part one of the training, kind of like part one and two, was we went over these product research hacks. Uh, and we talked about, you know, um, the strategies of researching products that have proof of concept, right? Using Etsy, uh, Winelo, shut up and take my money. This is why I'm broke. Dude, I want that. High consumption, Uncrate, and Amazon, and some other tools. Um, then we talked about when you're launching a campaign on Facebook, if you really want to launch a six-figure marketing campaign, it's more than one product, right? It's more than you know, launching a campaign uh, for this knife right here, okay? This is a cool knife. I paid a lot of money to get this knife. It's pretty sick. Um, it is an awesome knife. But when I went to the store that sold this awesome knife right here, it's called the Wingman knife and it's Profit Power Hour Green, um, I noticed that they had other products that were complementary products and I ended up buying some of those products, right? So um, you wanna make sure that you have complementary products and you know your numbers. So we went over an, an example of, if you find like this pet backpack, right? We need to know what our cost of goods is. We need to know what we're gonna sell it for as a retail and we need to know how much we're gonna add in for shipping and handling. So we know what our profit potential is. But if we get traffic 
that comes in and purchases a complimentary product, which would be like a cat hoodie or sweater or a, a linen tote bag from print on demand, right? We would, we then that we're able to create what's called a higher average order value. I want you to write that down. A O V average order value. Okay. So we know that if somebody comes in and they buy our hot product and they see two potential complementary products, uh, they might go in and they might buy more than one thing. And this is going to increase our odds of success. So one customer right here, I'm going to make it bold, right? One customer might end up buying three things. This is the cart stacking method, all right? Which is drastically going to increase our probability and our profits. Is everybody with me on that? That's what we went over the last two weeks. That was just a quick little uh, recap. Is everybody with me? Just say yes. If you're with me, you understand. If you did not watch the last webinar, go back to the PPH members area and watch it. If you don't know where to find the replays, it's quite simple. You just need to log into your accessadrian.com account, okay? So you log into your accessadrian.com account, you scroll down, you'll see right here where it says the profit power hour with the gold star. You click it, access it, and this is your free members area where you get to see the replays of all of the profit power hours. So you'll get in here and you'll see all of our legacy replays, but more importantly, our 2019 replays. And you'll see part two, if you click 2019 replays uh, right here. So this is where we go over our creating our funnel of products and we create, and this is part one where we find viral products. All of this is here. It's ready. It's waiting for you. It's free. It's my gift to you as one of my VIP students. And you can see I was in a hotel in San Diego last week. Uh, when we when we did that webinar, okay? So this week, now that we kind of know our numbers, this is where we left off. Like this is the stuff that we still have to go over. A tool that's called Snipply to leverage other people's content. Uh, Facebook and Instagram engagement posts, right? Launching our ads, using the loaded gun strategy. There's all of these different things uh, that we're gonna get to have some mega fun with, okay? But what I wanna do now is I want to show you a content and traffic hack, okay? So a content and traffic hack. Let me tell you something, y'all. 2019 is different than 2016, okay? When I started doing this in actually 2015, I started doing e-commerce, it was much different. And, and that, you know, you could just build a Facebook fan page and you could put up an ad and you would just make money pretty much. I mean, it was so like, you didn't take any work at all, right? People would say, Adrian, do you have newsletters and do you put up content and stuff like that? And I would say, no, I just built a, fan, a passion fan page and I post ads and that's it. Uh, and in the end of 2017, early 2018, things started evolving and changing. Uh, things became more content driven. And so I started going to my fan pages and posting content. I was posting uh, viral articles, I was posting viral videos, and getting people to consume my content. One of the main reasons that I did that is because everybody on Facebook that goes to your fan page, or goes to your Instagram, and interacts with the posts, or watches a video, right? They're, they all can be retargeted. So the more people, interacting with content on your fan page, inevitably, the more money you're probably going to make, right? Because you can retarget those users. How many of you in here would agree, if somebody engages with my fan page, they watch a, a funny video on my fan page two or three times this week, that when they see an ad from my fan page, they're probably gonna be more likely to purchase from me than someone who has never seen me before. Type in a five if you agree with me on that, Just type in a five right? So that being said, I came up with a content strategy and I, I built a software that is still very much under construction um, that basically automates uh, posting stuff to my Facebook fan pages for me. And it handles like all of that now, right? And one thing that I've been using in, in like conjunction with that is this content and traffic hack because I don't want to just post other people's content uh, for free, 
like if I'm posting some blogs article on my Facebook page or my Instagram or in my uh, email newsletter, like I'm giving them free traffic and um, you know, that kind of sucks. So how can I turn the tables, right? And how can I leverage other people's content, right? To get viral traffic and generate sales for me and grow my own social media. And this is a step that I will use before I launch a Facebook campaign in many cases, all right? So we're gonna talk about this content and traffic hack, right? And um, it, it's very specific, so I'm gonna go over it with you. So first off is uh, you have, this is kind of like the hierarchy of things, right? You've got your um, Shopify store, all right? Let's say that this is a general store. And under the Shopify store, you've got your, you know, cat fan page, you've got your, a tactical fan page. You got your women's, um, you know, makeup fan page. Um, you've got, let's say, you know, um, a basket weaving fan page, right? So these are all Facebook fan pages, and uh, they're called passion fan pages, right? So you're going to get like more engaged users on Facebook on a cat fan page and on a tactical fan page. But the thing is on each of these pages, you need to be basically distributing two things. Uh, number one is viral relevant content, all right? This is to be consumed. And the second thing is, and I'll make this text a little bit smaller um, so it fits. All right, so viral and relevant content that's meant to be consumed, all right? And then, um, you know, products to be purchased. So that's kind of what you're doing on each and every fan page, right? So you're, you're putting out content and you're putting out products. Now, a lot of people are like, Adrian, I don't care about cats. I'm not interested in cats. Um, you know, I don't see how I would find cat uh, content, like silly cat videos or viral cat videos or you know, whatever it may be, or Adrian, I'm not into the tactical niche, but I like to sell tactical products. So how am I finding uh, content? And then how am I leveraging this content here, right here that I'm gonna put, uh, let's just put it in say blue, uh, to generate sales for products right here that are in green. All right, because they work hand in hand. And I've got some really neat things I'm going to show you after I take a sip of my red wine. That doesn't taste very good, but it's supposed to be good for me. All right. So how is this going to work? All right. First things first. One really awesome tool that I use to find viral. All right. So let me just put this in bold. Let me underline it and let me change this to red. All right. Viral content. What are some viral things I can find? So the first thing I do, and this has been around for a very long time, is I go to Google Trends. All right. So um, can everybody see my screen right now? This is Google Trends. So let me just come over here and see if I can um, get this to come over here. Let's do, go. Cool. All right, so Google Trends. Now, you can go to Google Trends daily. It is a free tool. All you have to do is go to trends.google.com. All right, let me put that in here for everybody. I'm going to put it in the chat box. Trends.google.com. All right. Now, when you get here, you can immediately start seeing what's trending right now by scrolling down. All right. So we got Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian, the World Cup, football, American football. Um, as we scroll down here, we can start seeing things that are trending uh, recently. OK, so these are things that are trending right now. All right. The game, Game of Thrones, Southwest Airlines, King Kong Bundy, um, Kylie Jenner. Janice Freeman, Captain Marvel Review, India vs. Australia, Bachelor Spoilers, uh, Pax, uh, Paxki, uh, and Ash Wednesday, okay? Now, not all of these may be relevant, but 
like, two things can happen. Number one is you can discover new niches that you can get into. Number it, like quick trending niches. Number two is um, you can find something that's super super viral uh, for products that you're already marketing. For example, if I click over here on Game of Thrones, which had 500,000 searches, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, that's okay. But we can see that um, Game of Thrones, let me see, five hours ago, the trailer for the final season of Game of Thrones uh, was finally uh, revealed. And this is like a cult of people that watch the show. I personally watch uh, I personally watched the show as well. I binge watched it this year and I dang near cried uh, at the end of last season because I knew it was going to be a year before I could watch it again. All right. And it, I never thought I'd like the show, but I started watching it. Oh my God, this is awesome. All right. So Game of Thrones. Can you sell Game of Thrones items? No, you cannot because you do not have licensing uh, to sell such items, right? You can't go sell, um, you know, King of Thrones uh, trademarked items. But what you can do is you can pop over here to AliExpress, right? And you can search for stuff like mid evil, um, whatever. Just type in medieval. All right. So maybe I. Did I misspell medieval? There we go. It's two words, maybe. Oh, I'm totally misspelling it. Thank you. Somebody spelled it right. Medieval. There we go. Thank you, Jasper. Med I E V A L. Thank you for making me not look like a total idiot on here. And now all of a sudden, we're finding things. Would you all agree, just looking at medieval items here from, I should know I'm a freaking history major in college, uh, but would you all agree that by looking at, let me just come back over here to this preview, uh, where Game of Thrones is like in more in a medieval setting and they're all using swords and dragons and, and um, archery, you know, this is a very medieval uh, setting, um, you know, show and it's super popular. Would you all agree that fans might be interested in this type of gear right here, this medieval style gear? Yes, would you agree? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so um, that's just like a quick one-off, all right? So I'll show you, I'll give you some ideas of cool things that you can do with this uh, in a moment, uh, but we're still in research mode, okay? So another thing that we can do, let's go back over here is scrolling down uh let's look at ash wednesday Two hundred thousand searches all right so ash wednesday is uh a, i guess a day where christians uh give up their favorite things uh for lent okay so they give up their favorite things for lent christian niche is huge one of my buddies is making multiple six figures a month uh in the christian christian niche selling um you know shirts with faith quotes on them um with crosses cross necklaces and all that all of that good stuff right so the important thing that to understand here is right now today okay this is getting two hundred thousand searches on tuesday ash wednesday is getting 200 plus thousand searches and these are some viral articles right these are some viral articles um, that people are reading about Ash Wednesday, all right? And these over here are viral articles that people are reading about Game of Thrones, all right? So these are like just finding one-offs. Now, you can also just simply, if you're looking for like tactical gear and cat products and stuff like that, there's all sorts of like really cool blogs and, and uh, YouTube videos and stuff that you can type in for super generic niches like that. But I want to show you how to use Google Trends, okay? So uh, let's just go back to the Ash Wednesday because uh, that'll be the best example because I know someone on here is going to say, Adrian told me to sell Game of Thrones stuff if I use that as an example. And I'm not telling you to sell Game of Thrones stuff, just so you know, okay? Okay, so now how can we use this content that's getting searched 200,000 times a day and use it on our Facebook pages. Remember, we've got these Facebook fan pages. So let's just say, okay, here's a new niche that we wanna get in. 
the Christian uh, niche fan page. All right, so this is all about faith, right? And this fan page that we have here is uh, we need to have, once again, that viral content uh, on the fan page, right? Uh, we need to be promoting content that people uh, following this fan page will consume, right? Videos, um, articles, all that other stuff. And we don't want to be blog writers, right? We don't want to film content and create content for them. We want to leverage other people's content. So common sense tells me that if I come over to my Facebook fan page, and I don't have a, uh, a fan page for this right now, but let me just see if I can pull up like a random fan page uh, that I have. So let me just pop over here uh, to some of my fan pages. Ta -ta -ta. All right, so let me just look at, say, uh, Trendy Saver, okay? So this fan page right here, all right? So this is just a, a basic fan page. Let's imagine, though, that this was a Christian fan page, okay? And this fan page was, you know, um, about the Christian niche, right? Is everybody with me? Type in a six if you're with me. All right, cool. Then what I would want to do is, because this is popular right now in the Christian niche, I'd want to come and for a couple of days, I have now articles I can share uh, every day. And it makes my fan page look good too. So like this one right here from four hours ago. All right, I can grab this article. I can come over to my Facebook fan page. Let me just grab this from up here. And I can post this on my Facebook page and they'll automatically create like a thumbnail that's clickable. And now I am just sharing content to my page. Now, of course, I can delete this right here. And I could be like, um, uh, four things you need to know about Ash Wednesday. All right. And then you could put like a, a cross or something in here, like a little emoji, whatever. So it appears that you're just sharing content, right? About Ash Wednesday on a Christian fan page, right? On a Christian based fan page. Now, how is that going to make us any money? Can somebody tell me how sharing this content right here that's on religiousnews.com that is right now viral, it's found through Google Trends, this is getting 200,000 searches uh, today. Uh, how would this make me any money? Can somebody tell me? Pixel data, uh, nothing yet, retargeting, engagement. Um, it lets customers know that you're interested and authentic. That is a good answer, uh, Carol. Exposure, recognition, building a list, related products. Uh, Jody, you're getting close. Add an overlay, add a link, uh, show product offers uh, on your fan page, sharing likes. Okay, there's two ways that you get to leverage this. Number one is this article right now is a viral article. And actually the, uh, the image on here is quite interesting too. Um, so this is a potential viral article. You want to find content that can go viral. And let's just say that you're marketing a cross or a cross necklace or something uh, from your uh, from your website. Now, I don't know if I have any crosses or anything on here. This is like straight up off the cuff. OK, so this is not a premeditated training. A lot of my trainings on here, I know what I'm going to teach but I don't want it to be premeditated, uh, you know, like to the T because I want you to see how my brain thinks. And this is why I'm so successful at what I do is because I think like this, okay? But let's just imagine that we had, uh, you know, a cross necklace on here. How would we promote uh, that cross necklace over this viral content uh, right here that we would be posting on Facebook? Well, we can't, right? unless we're using a special tool. Now, this tool is free. Um, I'm not an affiliate of it. God, I wish I was. I would have made a lot of money a long time ago. Uh, but it's a free tool and it does have like paid accounts as well. And, and the tool is called Snipply. So I want everybody to type this down, S-N-I-P dot L-Y. This is not an affiliate link. I believe that you can do it completely free. I'm on the free plan right now. Um, so HTTP colon. Uh, snip.ly. It's just like that. All right. Now, this is like such a cool tool and it's been around for quite some time. 
And what this does is it lets us leverage other people's content to make and generate sales. All right. Watch this. This is so cool. Um, and, and grow our social media at the same time as well. So you have a main dashboard. And what this does is it shows you how many clicks and, and all the stuff you're generating. Don't worry about that now. There's two things that you really need to focus on brand profiles and calls to action. Okay. So brand profiles would be your store. So I have Adrian Morrison in here, but you would put in like gear grabber or the faith store or whatever it may be uh, that you, that you want. So you can come in here and you can create a new brand uh, under the free level. You can only have one brand. So if you're running multiple Shopify stores, they're going to want you to upgrade to like one of the monthly plans. Um, you don't need to do that right now. Okay. So right now I just have the Adrian Morrison brand in, in here. So you add the brand in, which essentially is going to be just your Shopify store. Okay. And underneath the brand, which would be your Shopify store, you get to have what's called call to actions. Now call to actions, um, allow you to grow your social media following or send people to your store to buy something. Okay. Is everybody with me on this? Yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let me just see if like live, because we got a little bit of time. What I want to do is I want to jump into my Shopify store and man, I haven't done this in a long time, but I'm just going to try it uh, real fast. Okay. Just, just to try to make this like super uh, like chill. What I'm going to do is let's just say I am going to duplicate this product here. We'll call this the uh, cross necklace. Okay. Duplicate. Then I come over to AliExpress. Find a cross necklace just to show you how this would work real fast. Okay. All right, so we got this one right here. I'm just gonna. I'm, there's no specific reason as to why I am choosing this one. Um, it's just right now. This is like just the first one that popped up. Okay, so let's say that we're adding this to our store and we're selling it for ten bucks. All right, so I'm just gonna come over here, do this the old-fashioned way, um, and we're gonna put this in here for ten dollars. Okay, so let me just get my image in here. One sec. Let me just upload my image of the cross necklace. Dun, dun, dun. All right, there we go. And then we'll just put this price at $9.95, okay? So nine ninety five. So we got a $10 necklace plus shipping and handling. Uh, this is just a really quick way for me to set this up, all right? So um, you can go through a Burlo or whatever it is uh, that you wanna use. Our product was successfully saved. Now let's view the product. Okay, so now we're selling this cross necklace, okay? And we just discovered that that's how fast you can get into the a niche, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over here to Snipply and I can create um, a call to action, okay? So a call to action. Now a call to action is gonna ask me what brand I wanna promote. So you're gonna select your Shopify store, okay? So you wanna select your Shopify store. Now you can either do a button, um, you can do a uh, link, uh, you can do a form, an image ad, or, uh, oh, and you can have ad retargeting and analytics in there, which is super beneficial, but they have these on like the paid plans, of course. So, you know, that's kind of like how it works. Um, but I generally use the button, all right? And then what I would say is something like, um, get this, faith necklace now for just nine dollars all right shop now I want you to watch what happens shop now all right now under button URL what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to your Shopify store right here you're gonna grab the link to the necklace you're going to come over to Snipply, 
and you're going to put that right here okay so you're going to put that right here now of course um you you can go in further and you can do some other things with this so you can add different themes like you can make it full width you can do like this kind of candy theme or the bean theme uh change the background color text color uh the position all that stuff uh but they want you to upgrade the other plans to do that so just out of the gate start with this in its most basic form all right now go to call of action all right cool so now what we can do is, and because I don't have like the full plan on this, um, I wasn't able to put an image, right? But what you're able to do is grab this URL right here. Where'd it go? Let me zoom out. My screen's so zoomed in for you that I can't see everything I need to see. All right, cool. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, cool. So what this is going to do now is once you set this up, this link, it's going to track your clicks. If you have pixels and stuff installed, it'll track your conversions, your conversion rate. You can A and B test with different headlines, different images, all that good stuff right there. Okay. So all of that is there for you to be able to leverage and be able to use. All right. Then what you do is you come over here by, see where it says, get this fake necklace now. You see where it says quick snip right here? All I have to do is come over and grab this viral article about Ash. Um, which one was it? Let's see. May have lost my, oh, right here. Okay, cool. So all I have to do is grab this article. Grab that. I'm gonna come over to Snipply. Boom. Quick snap. All right, so you'll see here, it made this little link for me that I'm highlighting, okay? So now, whenever somebody visits this link, let me show you what's gonna happen, okay? Oh, I put actually hit the keyboard once. So now when somebody is on this article, right? Down here at the bottom right, you can have your image of that necklace, right? And of course, it's got a picture of me, right? Because I, 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 I didn't have time to create a brand for Gear Grabber on here because this is super off the cuff. But you can have a picture of a necklace or whatever you want right here. And as people click on this and they're scrolling down and they're reading about this, you can show them that they can purchase Christian T-shirts, Christian gear. How many of you in here think that this is a good idea? Just say me. Just say yes. Because as somebody is over here reading this article, they can hit shop now and boom, here they are where they can buy the faith necklace, right? So what we're doing is we're using a free tool, which eventually, inevitably, if you use this a lot, you'll get the paid plan for it, which isn't that expensive, the one you would get. And we're taking all of these articles from Google Trends that are really hot right now about ash wednesday and we're going to be posting these all week long but we're going to be embedding uh them into snipply right and snipply then is going to track how many clicks and everything we have so i'm gonna put this in the chat box okay so y'all can check this out all right so if you click on that link right there that i just put in the chat box the snipply blah 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 um you're gonna see the article come up, but in the bottom left, you're gonna see a picture of me, which should be a picture of the cross. And when you click it, it's gonna take you to Gear Grabber, where you can purchase uh, this cross necklace. So we're leveraging other people's content in order to go viral, because articles like this are the ones that you see on Facebook that are getting tens of thousands of shares. It's getting 200,000 searches right now on Google Trends, right? So articles like this are the ones that are going to get comments, likes, shares, and boatloads of free traffic. And what you're doing is, is you're leveraging the content, the virality of this content with Snipply to go in and just kind of like generate some traffic and sales. Build up your Facebook pixel if you're able to add in retargeting on here, if you have the paid plan. Uh, so when I refresh this, 
uh, here, if y'all got the thing and clicked on it, then it'll track how many clicks you've had. And if you have analytics on it, you'll see here we've had 94 clicks uh, and we've had 43 people actually click to go to my website, right? So 94 people click the Snipply link, uh, 43 of you clicked the call to action. So this is a super cool technique. And what we do is on all of our fan pages, we use this. We find viral content, be it viral videos on YouTube, uh, a viral blog post, Google trend articles, and we are going in and we are building momentum using relevant viral content that people consume. All right, so we're getting uh, building up our Facebook pixel. Now we're able to retarget these users that are interacting with this viral content. Everybody that comments, likes, shares, everybody that engages, everybody that clicks, they go into your Facebook retargeting that you can now hit with that cross necklace. So if they're reading articles about Christian stuff or they're reading articles about cat stuff or they're reading articles about whatever it may be, right? When they're doing that, then you hit them again with a retargeting ad, you're very likely to generate a sale. So this is called consuming, right? People consuming viral content through engaging with your ads and then hitting them with retargeting and selling them, plus hitting them with this embedded Snipply link um, right here that allows you to sell them products uh, while they're reading the content. And you can do this for every single freaking article, like this article right here, like this one. I can come in, grab this article, come back over here to Snipply, grab this, put this in here, uh, make a snip out of it, you know, here we go. Let's snip it, boom. All right, here's our URL. Now when somebody goes to read this article on USA Today, now we're literally getting traffic that is on usatoday.com uh, because we're able to embed our links, right? Or uh, I don't see it on here, so it must have typed in something wrong. Um, but you're able to go in and leverage other people's content to get traffic here. All right, so let's kind of go back over this. And I'm just gonna move some of this stuff to, for the sake of... All right, let's talk about our profit points, okay? One, people consume your content, engage with your brand, all right? Two, leverage other people's viral content all right number three all right uh, use snip.ly uh, to embed your right to embed your um, Shopify store sales page on relevant content all right number four is retarget your fans that have engaged with your fan page, right? Uh, with products. And obviously viral content equal more engagement. All right. And uh, more engagement equal better retargeting, right? And better retargeting equals more money. All right. Has everybody got that? Uh, viral content gets you more engagement. More engagement gets you better retargeting and better retargeting gets you more money. Now, how do you retarget people? I just showed you how to use Snipply, which is like one of the sickest tools in the world uh, to embed your sales over viral content and how to find cool ideas using Google Trends. But moreover, if you come over here to Facebook and you start looking through, let me just go to my ads account. Where is it? There we go. All right. So you start going in and trying to create audiences, check this out. When you're inside of the Facebook ads manager and you come over here to audiences, this is where you can create your retargeting audiences. And we went over this the other week, okay? So you can come over here and hit custom audience, scroll down and hit engagement. Remember, viral content equals more engagement. 
more engagement, right, equals better retargeting. And so we click engagement and we can do this from our Facebook page or our Instagram profile. And if you have audience accelerator, you'll be able to create these audiences like uber fast. But let's just say that we click fan page. And when we click on fan page, you'll see that we have our fan page here that's come up. And now I'm gonna to try to zoom in on this for you. I can create retargeting audiences of everybody that has ever visited my fan page. So this would be anyone that's ever come to my fan page, anyone whom has ever engaged with a page post or an ad. This would mean they like it, they love it, they wow it, they angry face it, they share it, they comment. More engagement with viral content equals better retargeting. People who clicked an ad, people who sent a message to our page, and anyone who saved a page or a post. So this one right here, people who saved your post and people who engaged with your post, these are the two pieces, these are the two audiences, the Facebook target audiences that are gonna grow wildly if you are leveraging viral content from other people. So you're building these audiences that you can retarget to generate sales and you're generating sales hopefully through Snipply because you're embedding your products that are relevant um, to these different articles. So like one day on the USA Today article, you're selling the faith necklace. Then maybe tomorrow when you share uh, this one about seven things you might not know about Ash Wednesday, um, you are selling like a faith t-shirt or you know a, whatever it could be, okay? Maybe on the Game of Thrones articles, you're selling some medieval items or just some random stuff that you found. And you're hitting these niches because Google Trends is telling you exactly what is hot right now, all right? And I use this over and over and over and over and over again. And I should add in this profit point right here, which is use Google Trends to find hot content, all right? So we'll just change everything else. This, this one will go to two, whatever. I don't feel like messing with this. All right, there we go, two, uh, three, four, five, six, whatever, y'all get it. All right, so write this down. Do not forget this, okay? And the tool that we're using is called Snipply. How many of you in here feel like you've learned something today um, that's gonna help you provide better content, 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 content to your audiences and help you make more money? Type in a 10, all right? I see that Michael says this is powerful. Um, Samuel says, can we post Snipply content to other massive fan pages to leverage their traffic? I'm not sure, I haven't tried that one, but anything's worth a shot. Um, and Daryl, very good point. Every time somebody comes in and shares this article that we're posting up here um, on one of my random fan pages here, um, actually this is like a fan page I don't even use, but every time somebody comes in and shares this article, that I have my Snipply link in, they're, they're sharing your link, right? So everybody that clicks on this post right here that could very much go viral is seeing your offer going on your retargeting and it building your Facebook pixel. So as this snowballs, if you're hitting these trends, then you can just absolutely freaking destroy it, right? I see lots of tens coming in. This is a game changer. Uh, Lorena says, will this work with FP command? Absolutely, this works with FB command, Lorena. Um, all you have to do is when you're building your viral posts, you're automating your posts for the year with FP command, you just add in Snipply links to each post above the content. And by the way, end of Q2, uh, we're supposed to release 2.0. It's very long overdue, uh, but that that is coming, okay? Uh, which will be pretty dope. Uh, is the Snipply, in the Snipply example, did anything actually go on the fan page? Yes. I posted this on my fan page. So the way it works is, let me just show you one, one last time, okay? Step one is I go to Google Trends. You don't have to go to Google Trends, by the way. You can find any web page. But let's just say like Kylie Jenner is being announced today as uh, the youngest billionaire in the world, all right? This is freaking viral as anything I've ever seen right now. Everywhere I look today, Kylie Jenner is now a billionaire. 
she sells makeup, right? So if you want to like a good, like her makeup line with Shopify, Kylie Cosmetics has made her a billionaire. So if you want to have some fun with this as she continues to stay relevant and, and viral, then you can come over here and you can find like this, um, let's say like a 360 makeup organizer, which is really cool. All right. And you can get this like cool little makeup organizer, uh, find one of the better deals on it. I, I can't, I'm not going to search for the best deal right now, but you know, anybody that's interested in Kylie, um, that's clicking and reading these articles might be buying Kylie cosmetics, right? So you list this 360, uh, makeup organizer on your Shopify store. Okay. Then what you do after it is on your Shopify store and it's listed for sale. Okay. You come over here and you get that product, right? You get the link to that product. Let's just imagine this right here is a 360 organizer. All right. You copy this link. Now you're going to come over to Snipply uh, right here where it says call to actions over here under manage call to actions. All right. And you're going to hit create a new call to action. You're going to select your Shopify store. Mine says Adrian Morrison because it's a sample account. All right. And you can do like a text link or button. I prefer a button. But honestly, image ads are like the coolest. If you have the paid plan, you can do image ads, which are so sick. Um, but we'll just use this for now. And we'll be like um, Epic 360 Makeup Organizer that's going viral like this, all right? Um, and then you can see like um, view now. So we're, we're actually like leveraging this as viral content, this epic 360 makeup organizer that's going viral. Then right here, you have put in the link to the, the product on your Shopify store and you'd hit continue, all right? Now what you've done is you have, you have created that call to action. Now what you do is you go to your Shopify store. Uh, I'm sorry, you go to the article that you found of Kylie Jenner. I have so many tabs up now, I gotta find it. All right, so like this article right here on the Washington Post, boom. We can grab this, go to Snipply right here, boom. All right, create our snip. I mean, preview what it looks like over there, copy this now. Uh, I can share this Snipply link on my Facebook fan page for Trendy Saver or whatever it may be. And it's gonna post that article on my page, all right? But when people go to that article, they're actually going to see my ad on the bottom of the article. And that article is going to link to that 360 uh, makeup organizer, or maybe it could be like how to, like even for like digital products, um, that would be a great article on how, shop, how Kylie Jenner uh, launched a billion dollar brand on Shopify, right? But we'll put in that article here. It'll fetch the preview of Kylie Jenner. Um, we can then say um, how Kylie Jenner's cosmetic brand made her the youngest billionaire in the world, all right? Uh, we can make the post of this right here. Uh, here's our thumbnail. Now when people click on this, what's going to happen is it's going to take them to that article and they're going to see our ad right here at the bottom of that article. And they're going to be able to click on that and uh, they'll be able to go buy that 360 makeup organizer or follow our fan page. You'll see it right here. Does everybody see it at the bottom? So as they're scrolling, you, this this article doesn't go away, right? This this article down here on the bottom left hand side is going to have you can make it have a picture of the product, and then you can change all the stuff around. Boom! Send it to the 360 organizer, and that's how you can leverage other people's content to generate sales. And these are the little tricks that people are using um, to to really get a lot of free traffic because. This article about Kylie Jenner going viral uh, today has generated millions upon millions of clicks to different outlets. And if you're leveraging it the right way because you have the right training, right? Because you're on this webinar tonight, then 
if you have fan pages that are relevant to that niche and you share that article, you can cash in on that viral traffic, right? And you can get retargeting for your fan page to explode. You can get sales to explode by means as a byproduct of sharing viral, good quality content. And also, you know, just knowing to use Google trends to, to find things that are hot right now. Like it might not be something that you can sell forever, but if you're able to jump on a really good trend, um, you can ride that out for two or three days and easily generate tens of thousands of dollars if you do it the right way. So I'm always looking at uh, Google Trends, always seeing what's popping right now, and I'm always getting ideas for new products using this free tool, leveraging viral articles using Snipply to generate traffic, retargeting, and sales, and just give, give the people what they want, and that is viral content. It's a sneaky way of advertising to them. So today, I intended to walk you through an A to Z Facebook setup um, to, set, to setting up your ads, and I thought Snipply would only take me 10 minutes, 15 minutes to show you because it's so simple. Go to Google Trends, find an article, and then link it into Snipply to one of your products. This is a five-minute process, but somehow I always find a way to spend one hour talking about a micro subject. It's just like a, a, a curse, I guess, for me. So what we're gonna do is next week, I don't, Roberta says, I love your brain. Thank you. Um, what we're gonna do next week is we're actually going to talk about paid traffic. I'm gonna show you how I structure and launch Facebook campaigns designed to generate six figures. I've had so many six figure campaigns, I can't even count, all right? I've had so many ad sets that I have launched that have just contributed to doing insane amounts of money. And I have a very specific way that once I found the product, I've done the research, once I have leveraged viral content to kind of get some quality content on my page and to get some fans and get people interested in me because when they see my fan page, they know I'm sharing good content. So they're more likely to, to click on my ads if they're one of my fans. Um, then we're launching actual paid ads. So there is a very strategic A to Z plan that is very simple. Uh, that I'm using now in 2019 to launch my ads. And we're spending uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars per month on Facebook marketing, okay? So I know how to do ads. I've spent many, many millions uh, just spent on marketing on Facebook since 2008, apparently. Um, so I think my first bill from Facebook in 08 was like $10 and 61 cents. Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna show you how that is done next week. And it's going to be a meaty, like meat and potato training. First, I'm gonna draw out a mind map for you of how it should be structured. And then we're gonna go into implementing it. And it's usable on any and all uh, products that you launch for, for e-commerce or even for digital marketing, okay? So how many of you in here, um, how many of you in here right now are, are excited about next week's live training? Somebody said I wasn't live earlier. I'm live, I'm here. Um, I tell y'all if I do a recording, I've done it like maybe three times in the last 300 days. Um, and actually y'all might not even be able to tell right now because I'm so geeked out, but I'm actually really sick. I got sick in San Diego, uh, shook like over a hundred hands and I'm just like feeling like super feeling like crap right now. Uh, so hopefully I did a good job and y'all could not even tell how bad I feel tonight. Um, hence like the sweats and everything. Cool. All right. So next week we're going to launch, we're going to look at launching a six figure store with Facebook ads, how to set up the campaigns, how to set up your Facebook audiences, how to get started. Uh, just by show of hands, how many of you in here do not have Audience Accelerator? Because earlier I showed y'all that you can go in and create these audiences with fan pages. And two weeks ago, I launched one of my secret tools, Audience Accelerator, that automates doing this for you and actually unlocks some like hidden targeting. Um, all right, so we still have it for a dollar trial for 14 days. 
my devs so that I could keep keep that promotion up. If you would like to get Audience Accelerator, I'll quickly show y'all real fast what it does. Um, so where is it? Let me see. Courses, uh, software. Where's my Audience Accelerator? Hold on, might need to refresh. That's weird. It's not showing up in my account. Um, hmm. Interesting. That's really now it's got me wondering where it went. Um, I'll find it here in just a second. So what it does though is it goes in and it actually like launches uh, my it launches all of my uh, targeting for me, uh, meaning that I don't have to sit there and click on it a zillion quadrillion times. It's uh, 19 bucks a month uh, is the monthly price for it. And uh, you can try it for 14 days for a dollar because I know that um, you're not going to, uh, you're not, you're definitely not going to cancel it. It would be crazy to cancel it if you're a Facebook marketer. So I'm gonna pull it up real fast because I finished a, on decent time today and I'll give you all a quick little demo. So give me just a second. Um, here we go. And I'll launch it. Here we go. I still need to update this video, by the way. I, I ended up traveling and I didn't do that. So I have this like crazy video of me on my iPhone here. But anyways, what we're able to do in Audience Accelerator is when you're leveraging this content and you are, uh, you know, you're getting a lot of traffic to your fan pages, you're going to want to come over here to audiences and you're going to want to create these viral uh, fan page audiences. So just like over here in Facebook, you can come over to Facebook, go to create an audience, to create a custom audience, do engagement, uh, Facebook page. You gotta do all of these one by one by one for every fan page that you have. You may have a lot of fan pages. So with Audience Accelerator, all I do is hit create an audience. We wanna create a custom audience. It's gonna come down, I can create an engagement audience. I can create it for my Facebook fan page. So all I have to do is hit page right here. And once I do that, uh, once I hit it for the fan page, all I have to do is come down here and grab the fan page that I wanna do it with. So we'll just do like Trendy Saber and select all of these people that have clicked, people that have engaged with the post, whatever it may be. Um, I can come down here and we'll call this our um, trendy saver fan page retargeting. All right, create audience. Boom, boom, boom. And you'll see here, now I've got audiences created for retargeting of everybody that's engaged with my page, everybody that's messaged my page, everybody's visited. So as you're using the strategy that I used you tonight, these audiences will grow they will continue to grow. And you can create all of these audiences using Audience Accelerator in a matter of seconds, opposed to days or hours, depending on how many fan pages you have. So how many of you in here uh, would like for me to give you the link to the dollar 14 day trial for Audience Accelerator? This is not just for Shopify. You can use this for your digital marketing business, for any business you want. It's just a Facebook tool, okay? So the link is, a Actually, you know what? I have it up here because I, I, I showed you all this link forever ago. Um, there we go. So audience accelerator, profitph.com forward slash AUD uh, will take you to the page. You can get it for a buck, for try it for 14 days. Um, if you don't want it, then you need to email us before the 14 days is up and say, hey, um, cancel my subscription. All right. So audience accelerator. Uh, dollar trial. So that'll let you use it for 14 days. Um, and like I said, it's a lifesaver, time saver. Um, right now we still have the dollar trial available. So feel free to go in and get access to it. So far our customers in there are loving it. And even like people running multi eight figure um, Facebook marketing agencies are banging at my door saying, hey, Adrian, I wanna buy Audience Accelerator. And it's only 19 bucks a month but it's a tool that you'll use a lot moving forward. Um, and inevitably, 
these audiences are going to grow um, as a byproduct of this viral content that you are, um, it, it, as a byproduct of the viral content that you're posting. So some of you were saying you couldn't see it. I think the screen's showing it now. Um, I'll try to make the link as big as I can. It's uh, profitph.com forward slash AUD uh, right here. And it's also in the chat box. So uh, it's a dollar, go get it if you want it. And you can mass create audiences and actually unlocks targeting that you can't even use inside of Facebook. So it gives you a pretty big uh, competitive advantage. All right, so that's it for this week. Um, I hope you get Audience Accelerator. I hope that you use Snipply. It's free to use Snipply for one brand. Uh, inevitably, in the future, you'll probably move up to a paid plan. I do not earn a dime as an affiliate if you use Snipply. Uh, Transparency-wise, if I could, I would, because um, it would be stupid not to. But I, I'm not an affiliate of Snipply. It's just a really great tool that I use in my business. And it lets me, it gives me a reason uh, to, to really like feel good um, and efficient about sharing other people's viral content because I can get paid by leveraging other people's viral content with my Shopify store. I could build my social media, I can build my brand, I can build um, retargeting list, and I can generate sales using Snipply. So make sure that you go and you get Snipply, S-N-I-P.L-Y, and um, use it, it's awesome. Use Google Trends and Profit Accelerator to build your audiences in Facebook. And I'm telling you, in 2019, you're gonna kill it. Like, I mean, you're getting the tools that you need this year to do those secret things, those, the, 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 I call it the secret sauce that all the gurus are not telling you about, right? Because a lot of the gurus aren't actually doing this stuff. A lot of the gurus, you know, I mean, they're just selling. That's all they're doing is they're, they're selling you on their lifestyle and the fact that they had one store that did a, a couple thousand dollars and, and, you know, all they know is how to list an ad. If you want to really build a real long-term business, you need to start applying some of these strategies and some of these techniques and, and distributing content throughout your social media channels to cultivate and nurture your followers to engage with your post, to build your Facebook marketing, uh, retargeting audiences, right? Because more engagement, right, equals more money. Viral content equals more engagement equals more money because Facebook audiences will explode and you can retarget them, especially if you're using Audience Accelerator, it's especially easy for you to do, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to go live on my phone and we're going to give away $200 inside the Facebook group. Okay. So we still got about 700 people on here right now. A lot of people leave as soon as they find out that I'm starting to ramble and I'm not actually teaching anymore. Uh, so we got about 700 people on here right now. I'd love for you all to go to Facebook. I'm about to go live. Uh, here's the link to audience accelerator. I put it in the chat box. If you want it for a dollar trial, go check it out tonight. Um, I'm about to give away $200 in our Facebook group. So go to Facebook. I'm going to go live. I'm going to sign off of this webinar. I'm going live on my phone. I'm going to show you all my office because my wife uh, put some cool stuff in my office while I was gone. Give away $200, have the after party, and then next week I'll see you same place, same time, right here, live on the Profit Power Hour for my A to Z six-figure Facebook marketing structure where I build out, I literally draw out a mind map of how you should be building your campaigns, and then we move on to actually launching and showing you how to set those up and the reasons why and why not you should be doing or why you should not be doing some things, okay? Love you all. I love you, love you, love you. Hashtag crush it. Thank you all for saying I, I hope uh, you hope I feel better. Um, I'm definitely going to go take some medicines and Alka-Seltzer and Mucinex and all that stuff and vitamin C's and take a rest. But first, we got to do the after party. I will see you there and I'll see you next week for the next part of launching a six-figure store right here live on the Profit Power Hour. All right. So good night, y'all. I'll see you on my Facebook Live.